Good morning, this is Jilly Cube coming to you with a commission on a very large canvas commissioned actually by my son. So I wanted to do something different for him. He wanted something that he, masculine thrown into my chaos flow. So my idea was what you see there, that oblong shape is, um, as I, I showed you, I used the frame off one of my canvases to draw a, a silhouette around and then I painted the inside of that with that uh, burnt, uh, no, what was it, metallic copper. I let that to dry and then I put the masking tape on it where I want the particular um, feature of that oblong to show in my pore. So now I, um, I'm going all over the canvas very quickly, as you see, <laughs> um, just speed it up. But um, I made a navy, so I made that with the phalo blue, um, a little bit of dark, a little bit of black in it, and a, a good blob of the dark green makes a beautiful, it makes a beautiful navy. So this, yeah, was stressful for me, and I wasn't even going to you know film it to put on my channel any commissions for me even if they're for my family are stressful i just don't enjoy doing them because i'm always worried that they won't like it and even though they don't have to take it they don't have to use it um it's always stressful for me so I, i'm not somebody that enjoys commissions i like doing what i do uh, for myself merrily going away and if I'm lucky enough that people want to buy the paintings that I've done when I finish them then so be it but you know if they don't then I'll give them to somebody that has shown um, you know in my family and friends shown appreciation or a love of a particular painting I give them and that's just how um, I do it so yeah not enjoying commissions don't like it at all um, so I'm hoping my son really likes this um, just throwing in something that I feel is a bit of a masculine twist to a chaos blow <coughs> um, I think I did show you the size I'll have to get the size it was huge I know it was um, it's a huge canvas it's a gallery wrap canvas and um, so I'm taking a long time doing this hey <laughs> anyway on to the very next stage Okay, I've made up a few custom colours. So this one is literally some of uh, white with some of that navy in it to send it down like a very pale duck egg blue. So that's what that colour is. So I'm just putting, <clears throat> as you see, drizzling in my colours. I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to overdo it. So I just take it nice and slow. Um, and then yes, I've got my camera set up on a different angle on the once end of my table because this canvas actually took up the whole of my table. So um, whereas I usually have the camera opposite me, it just didn't work. It wasn't getting in hardly any of the shot of the, um, the work that I was doing on it. So that is a little bit of a, like a sand colour um, that I'd got there. It wasn't mixed up especially for this. It was one that I had left in, but I thought I just wanted to throw something lighter in there. And I also um, throw in a little bit of metallic gold, as you see there. That's my metallic gold. So I'm throwing in these colours um, because they're the colours that my son requested or, or I sent him a sample of and he liked. So I'm just going with it at the moment, going with the colours and just taking it <laughs> uh, really easy how I'm doing it, you know. I just want to try and um, do a good job, do a good job, as mothers always do want to do for their children. This colour I'm adding now is called Turquoise Beach. It's a global colour. So it was pre-made up in that container. It's called Turquoise Beach. So 
throw in that beautiful colour in there, hoping that gives it a nice pop too. Here is the gorgeous metallic bronze, or I think it's metallic, I'm not sure if it's metallic bronze or copper, um, they're very similar anyway, but um, because that's a, a metallic it will give it a nice sparkle in there, even though I do intend when I come to varnish coat it to put in a bit of the dragonfly glaze in my varnish to give it a sparkle. That is the cool blue that I'm adding there now. Oh, uh, that's um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully all these colours are going to gel together nicely. Just getting ready to add some more um, just of the dark navy so when I blow this out it's got plenty of sort of uh, puddle of paint to blow over so the um, undercoat of, it, of it's not too dry. So here with my hair dryer now, oh no 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 here we go I'm going with the paint. So yeah just pouring that paint on in the areas that I and need to blow the other colours over. So here we go with the hair dryer and I did start with this um, wider mouthed hair dryer but it wasn't really blowing you know how I expected it to or like so I do swap over to my other mini uh, Bailey's hair dryer to blow out. Yeah, that that blue one is not. Yeah, not doing a good a as good a job as what my mini does. So, come on, Jilly, swap to the mini. It does a really good job. By Jove, oh, she's got it, she's got it. That little mini Bayliss that I've got there is just, it's just my most favorite and it just does a really good job and I cannot find it anywhere else now. So they obviously don't sell them. Why am I going back to that? Um, I'm not sure. Obviously um, thought that it, it might push it out even a bit further. But I'll still push on with it and you'll see the, the um, little edits that I do along the way to this piece. It, it actually does um, turn out pretty brilliant even if I do say so myself. Just adding some other colours, some of the darker colours, where I feel it needs it to give it a bit more of contrast and a pop. So you can definitely do that. In fact, you can do anything. It's your art, your rules, your way. 
just go with the flow um, enjoy every minute pour your heart out that's what I do every time I just love it almost got it where I'm happy with it but you can certainly overdo it as I always seem to do so mistakes I make them just as many as anybody else okay I have pulled some of the tape off so it doesn't stick and I will um, obviously when the paint is all fully dry as you see I've done some embellishments on it I've softened it up um, and I'm pretty happy with it. So when it's fully dry, then I'll crisp up the edges of my shape. But I think it looks, um, it's just something different. And this is to go in my son's new home. So when he puts it, when it's all dry and I varnish it, I don't think I'll resin it because it may get reflection glare and not see the actual beauty of the painting if I do that so and it is big so yeah when it's up on his wall again I'll get I'll post some photos on uh, one of my videos or my Facebook art page but um, so now let the drying gods be with me and uh, this it shouldn't take too long to dry because it's only got that big feature in there so we'll see we'll see wish me luck but it's got some yeah just gorgeous effects in it it's got lots of movement that's why I did my balloon rolls in it I wanted to put some more of me in it balloon rolls in there to give it a bit more movement so there's a few areas a little bit Looks like there's a little bit of paint sitting, so I'm just hoping that don't go um, crack. But if it does, that's all right. I shall then use an acrylic pen, maybe in the um, metallic copper and fill it in there because this is the colour that he really wanted. He's got these, apparently these copper fittings that he wanted it to. He doesn't have any copper. I don't know what he wants. You know, kids, you try and do your best for them. Okie doke, hope you enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm.